Good evening, you guys. Okay, it's morning, but whatever. Um, so I need to finish up, as you've seen in a vlog a few days ago. I am redoing my kitchen, feeling like a dum dum head because I was wasting so much space on the round containers. Don't get me wrong, I love the IKEA round ones, the glass ones. They're just not meant for square situations and so I am going to try to get the rest of it going and getting everything organized so you can see I am sweeping up and these packages that I am chucking towards well you at this point it goes in that cabinet we're not quite sure why it was stuck in this corner and so I'm just trying to get that out of the way so the containers I do have, not all of them are IKEA, but I had a good portion. I haven't decided if I'm going to redo my spices because I haven't found that Rubbermaid has that many small containers, which I just realized saying that there is a actual set that is small anyway I'm going to ramble on anyway so I am going to pull out my pearl rice my brown rice my couscous and get that all put into containers and then at the last second I have a very tall IKEA container <clears throat> containers one has chocolate milk mix the other one has country time lemonade and so i'm gonna go ahead and switch those out i put the lemonade into one to begin with it was incorrect but as you will see i will change them it's not the first time i've had to do that So with these labels, it has two strips on the back that you can separately pull off. And what I'm going to do for like the pearl rice and the brown rice, which I don't care for on its own. I do like putting it in stuffed bell peppers, something with flavor. I don't like the brown rice alone. So what I'm going to do is only peel off one of the strips because once these are gone, they will be gone from my house and I will not use them again. We are trying to get everyone over to Quinoa. The kids are a little more reluctant. I like it. It's okay, but... I'm more of a white rice person. I crave it a lot. We don't have it as much as we used to. And so I'm trying to kind of take out the more starchier things from our diet. 
and just getting everything going, especially with the diverticulitis, my husband's stomach, and everything. As you can see on some of these, I have been able to cheat because they already had labels that were partially stuck on them. So I am just going to save my current ribbon and use these. This is the problem I was talking about the other day with the ribbon. No matter what I do, I cannot get that extra space to go away. If you guys know how to, I have the P-Touch. It just won't move over. I didn't have much that I could exchange. As you can see on the bottom is the big round one with the red lid. That is our pink cake mix and there is so much of it that I do not have a container that big unless I moved it to a cereal container, which might be an idea. I'm just not really thinking about doing that right this second so um yeah i forgot what i was saying oh so i'm getting everything put back there are bottles of stuff behind these once again it is in a single row and they all fit on there much better than they did the other day there's nothing that is hidden because that seems to be what i run across quite a bit is just items being hidden on accident. Now I'm going to redo the drawer. Once again. <clears throat> so it's been a little while and I'm still trying to live by the idea of have I used it in the last 30 days? Will I use it in the next? And so these are items that we use. These are the mesh bags from Anthony's cold brew coffee that I make him, these that I'm putting in the oatmeal box up there are just oatmeal flavorings. You guys have seen me organize and redo this so many times. I'm not redoing it, but people aren't being mindful when things are getting put up. Connor likes to just toss things in there so there are bins in really weird spots the same ones aren't together and so that's what i'm getting done right now getting the lids underneath them stacked with them and as you can see i'm pulling out random bowls i decided to just check that one it was a little greasy and i put that up and not realizing i was going to use it later i tried to get that in it was not having it but they sit perfectly I do like that little shelf anyway so I'm gonna get everything in there decided the other ones that I ones that I had shoved in there that were still in the back would not work and so I'm gonna go put them somewhere else so if you have watched our videos before you know that we have a shelving 
that is on the wall in the hall and though it has been nice to use there are a lot of products that have been forgotten this being one of them I have chia seeds that I have put in smoothies that I've put in Anthony's oatmeal and they are sitting in the hall getting wasted and so I'm going to put them also into another container these were just well the one little bit I had were in a mason jar and I'm going to replace it with this one and then also the coconut sugar which has never even been opened so I'm getting all of these moved into the actual kitchen and you can kind of see a little off of the bottom of the screen we have smoked oysters they have been sitting in there a while but the biggest thing is there are four containers boxes whatever of IKEA coffee that I think we have had for a year so I'm going to use those next I have a container open for Anthony's coffee already that we use for cold brew and so I'm going to use the rest of that up and then start working on getting rid of these. So I will make labels for both of these. This is something that I will just put one of the strips off because I don't know that we would buy this again. But we won't know until we try it. So while I'm thinking of it, I am going to make some cold brew. It is a simple process. I did have a cold brew pre-packed, and so I'm going to use it also and actually come to think of it. It is right now as I'm doing this the next day, so it is time for it to come out. It hasn't been even 24 hours, but I don't want to get too close to it. Um, the way it looks right now, this would be a product I would not use again. It is just simpler if I do the coffee grounds myself.
So I am back to the coffee shelf and so I am going to get this organized. As you can see, um, the spoons are just falling out because they weren't in the cup and Connor just loves tossing things. So I'm going to pull it out, get everything organized and I'm going to take out all of the metal spoons and put them in a different area. We don't typically use them. I prefer the wood ones over everything and just trying to decide what I want in the shelf. You can see a wire as I am pulling it right now. This is something that was just too cute that Xander did and I am going to... I don't know what he was pointing at. Um, I am going to continue to leave it there because it was just adorable and he did it and it was sweet. So I'm going to kind of run them through the ones that are hanging, who's trying to help, and get it put up. And then I'm going to organize the rest of it, decide what needs to go back in there, what needs to stay out, and here we go. What I also want to do is kind of go through the cups, the ones that are hanging there's like three down there and the cow cup is actually Connor's and I do have a buffalo plaid one down there and I think I've used it a total of one time and so I need to go through this stuff and decide what is keeping what is needing to be just gotten rid of. I definitely spent a lot of time and I'm wanting to do that because I want to be thoughtful and purposeful in how I am organizing our home and what's keeping and what's going and if in this case those glass containers are they working for me well no they're not really because they've kind of gotten pushed to the back they're not being used and so I have in one of them, it's called Rocket Fuel Coffee. It's great for cold brew, but instead I've opened another container and then I have it running around along with another one running around. And so I need to be purposeful and put stuff to where, and this one was a chocolate one, on where I'm putting this stuff and actually using it. Now that I have decided, you know, this is how I want it to look, these are the containers. I had to actually search for these. I have used most of the ones of this size, which is good that I am being useful of these new products. I don't want to get like I have been. <laughs> I looked in this bag. Sorry. I'm gonna run off on to something else. There were three <laughs> coffee pots or four of this brand this one's anthony's and i just thought it was silly to keep such a huge bag he won't keep it zipped up so i feel like the freshness is not there so much and so um uh, i'm just gonna put it in a plastic bag so i bought this coffee press because we do have some loose coffee and i found this one that once again was in the hall with the other coffees and it's a pure glass glass handled one and I just I feel really silly especially now going through it looking at everything that I've kind of wasted space and it's just it's silly and so as you can see here I'm moving things around but it's not sitting the way it should because of the um, 
slide-ons for the coffee cup holders and so I will sit here and adjust and readjust I swear a million times I ended up getting rid of that glass container also and tossing those pods into the drawer that glass jar with the creamer pods in it is a great example of just having wasted space So I'm going to move down some of the cups that we use. I try to go through, but I am a creature of habit. I will get one or two cups and use it, you know, repeatedly. I have one that I almost use on a daily. It's an Alaskan cup that um, Tina bought me, my best friend, and I use it quite a bit. And now I've gotten two other ones that I'm in love with, along with this buffalo plaid one in the tan colors that Anne got me. So my coffee cups have meaning behind them. They came from someone that I care about. So here are some of the stragglers of dollar store bins, stuff not being uh, put up. I guess I'm listening to music and rocking out at the same time. I don't know about you guys, but for me, it helps. I'm already still trying to heal from this back hip issue, and so I'm just trying to get into the zone. So I'm going to repackage my peppers and get them put up. I'm hollering at the need to get these done for me, and just going to toss this dollar store bin. I have most of them actually out in our storage unit right now. When we go to move hopefully fingers crossed you guys into our own home that is the plan for this year i can just take everything out of storage and then donate that to people who might actually use it more than i would so i'm going to do the same with the croutons i have dried jalapenos and then i think i'm going to kind of cut off my back is starting to hurt and I don't want to overdo it too much, but if you know your girl here, I did. And I was filling it later that night. I want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for watching us for um, what you're really doing is watching my, my fat butt run around <laughs> organizing but I do thank you guys and I appreciate you guys and I want you to all know you're all special to me and I appreciate you listening to me ramble on be a dork and not know what I'm saying so please subscribe and we will see you guys as usual, tomorrow. Can't guarantee it's cleaning, though. Love ya.